here we are in sunny Perth, uh, about to go on a, a rally drive on, um, on the bus at the moment. Let's go through the back of Ascot. Going out to Mundaring Airstrip. Should be there in about another half an hour, I guess. And uh, a bit of a squeeze then. So you can compare that as well. 
Yeah, just remind Greg to show you what it is when you get out there. Yeah, because yeah, everyone actually, that's one of the things people forget to look at the speedo. We get to look at it all together. And, and but it's old, so it'll tell you how yeah. yeah. much later. Yeah. Really. It's a nice event. It's a nice event. Have a look at that. And then you can compare notes. <laughs> 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 Best co driver out of all. <laughs> <laughs> it usually works out who's the lightest. Because <laughs> the car is the, the light of the car, the faster the left. Can we get individual pace notes to read here? <laughs> we actually did do some notes. Greg, Greg's, but they're crap. <laughs> 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 he's a great driver too. I wrote the notes for him. And you should have a look at the notes. It's a bit of a mess on the page. <laughs> if you want it, they're in the, they're in the car. We can actually give you the notes. But I don't think any of you will be interested in reading those. Anyone has got any questions? best thing to do is like you push your feet into the, there's a kick panel on the floor, so yeah. you actually push yourself into the seat and then don't try and work against the car too much, like you yeah. keep your arms, the other thing is too, to keep your arms in your lap because if your arms start flopping around then you can change gear and then you'll have been all sorts of strife, so there's a lot of g-force in the car, so keep your arms in the lap and just push your feet against the kick panel, so you push yourself back into the seat and then you can actually hold yourself quite stable, yep. but you'll notice like when you're watching, um, like we've had in-car where, where co-drivers have been in the car that experience and then people that, you know, just go for a ride, and like the co-drivers are generally pretty balanced in the car because you kind of work out how to just work, anticipate what the car's going to do and work with the car. Then you chuck somebody in there that's sort of not used to it and the first corner comes up and all their arms and legs flat. <laughs> 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 your head starts going like this, you look like a chicken. Picking <laughs> 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 food out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Thank you, little engine. Bit of damage there, the headlights. Yeah.
that was that, Chris? Awesome. Was it? It's going to be wicked. It's the runners through it. Unreal. That was a good shot. It's like a brain surgeon. It's got some steady hands. <laughs> <laughs> Down at Margaret River. Down at Margaret River. <laughs> 